Hey y'all, welcome back. I hope you guys are joining back in with us. We are going to be doing a garden tour and a harvest. Let's see what things are harvested. So here's Kelly. All right, we'll start with the strawberries. These are the ones we transplanted into our gutters a couple months ago from our main strawberry patch to this one. Just letting you look at it. Some of them, they're just, they're doing beautiful, big, beautiful strawberries on some of the older mature plants that, they were mature when they came over here. So they're doing very well. Some of the smaller ones though, they're doing excellent. They're nice and big, they're catching up. So they're doing great, you can't complain. They're even doing the runners, which we're not gonna allow that. So we don't want any runners. We want them to establish themselves in here. So we're not gonna allow any runners. Here's some more I'm gonna have to get rid of. So we're just gonna let them do their thing. We're gonna let them do a few little berries. But the smaller plants that did go well, they got some, they're, they're very, I mean, they taste awesome. Hunt out, Bill. You oh, you love them strawberries. So anyway, this is how they're doing. They're doing very well. We transplanted them. By next year, this will be just full of strawberries. So a lot easier to weed up here. <laughs> you don't have to bend over and get them. But they'll, as you can see, they're just kind of draping over. Let's see, we got some more runners here. So we're gonna have to get rid of all these runners. I'll go back through later. But they're doing excellent. So let's go over. We're gonna check out our peppers and our eggplant and see how that area is doing. Let's get over here to see what we got for the peppers. These are our lunch boxes, and they are lots and lots of little peppers starting to turn. We got lots of those. It's been so hot, it's slowed everything down. When it gets up in the 90s like it's been, we're keeping them watered, as you can tell. They're, they're healthy, they're just protecting themselves. But we got lots of them in here still. Not as many as you usually do, but though in the next July is when they're really gonna start kicking off. This month is just when they really start. But we got, so these are the small little lunch boxes that you free grilled. They only get two to three inches long. We have orange, we have yellow, we have the reds planted. So that'll be this mixture in here. The smaller, lighter green. You can get into your darker green. These are our big bells, and they are beautiful. They're doing beautiful in here. We got quite a few in here. Just waiting for them to change colors. We got yellows, reds, and oranges here. My sweet peppers down here. You can see that they're finally starting to turn. But unfortunately, they're not quite, quite ripe. They just need another couple days. They got a little bit to go on them. So I'm gonna let them ripen for a few more days, but those are the ones I'm looking forward to. Those are the ones that go, go by and grab and eat them as they're just walking around. Cowpeas, oh, they have done awesome. We didn't know how much to plant, but these things have done great. I mean, look at them, they're just beautiful. And they're starting to shake, and you can hear them, they're starting to dry out a little bit. So these will be, when they get about like this, we're gonna let them finish drying. They're still kind of rubbery. But we're gonna let them all dry on here and they're still making more still got more blossom but you can see how some of them are done and we're gonna let them dry on here and then we'll pick them and then shell them and then put them away and we'll do that on a video on the cow peas later after they're ready but i just wanted to see how beautiful they're doing and even in the heat they're doing excellent so our onions on a past video we did and I was kind of wondering about them because we weren't getting the bulbs we were getting a lot of stock but as you can see our bulbs caught up I mean just look at the size I mean look at that one there babe over there you see that one how big that one is over there mm -hmm. they're beautiful so I was kind of wrong I guess they say I didn't let them get caught up but they are beautiful they smell good but now you can see that they're starting to fall over here that means they're done this is done it's not it's ready to pick. This one's falling over. This one we can go a little bit longer. That one's still up. That one's ready. But that's how you tell when they fall over like that. It pretty much tells you they're ready. So this afternoon, what I'm going to do is come in here and we're going to pick all the ones and get ready, get, uh, get them ready for storage. Okay. Now our okra. It's still gum. I mean, these are still growing. They're going to get six foot tall, seven foot tall, and they're going to get very thick with okra later right now unfortunately you know this one here's got one here that's right at that you don't want to eat uh, there's not enough to eat yet that size or smaller maybe an inch smaller is the perfect size for eating because it's nice and tender it'll be edible until about this size anything bigger than this is going to get tough on you like well here babe you see this one the beautiful bud right there 
but let's go down here get rid of this one but look how beautiful that is inside that beautiful colors on those things I mean they could be ornamental I mean the colors on the leaves and everything when you get this size here they start getting tough and chewy so you don't want to eat this now you could put it in a stew I guess you could cut it up and put it in a stew because just like chicken the older chickens you use for your stock well same thing with these you can cook these down but we're gonna use it more for your seed saving when they get too big but like I say right now they're young the plants are small you're getting some we got plenty of babies in here you're ready to go but they're all just babies and it's like they're not enough to actually make a mess yet so it's not like I can come out here and collect enough to go inside tonight and eat some for dinner so we're having to wait a little bit longer but they're all just full full of them so give us another couple weeks and we're gonna have a mess of uh, okra so that's promising but like I say you have your first ones they get a little bit big but just save these for seed or just throw them away or you just want to eat them you know you can still so let's do our eggplant that's next there how do you pronounce these Matoyo. Matoyo. Now this one is on the ground, so I'm going to go ahead and pick it. Um, you can let them get bigger, it's up to a pound, but when they're on the ground like this, they can start rotting. This one hasn't started rotting, but it's big enough. These will get up to about a pound, and so we're picking this a little early, but you can do that with eggplant. You want to, I mean, wait till it gets its color and stuff, but you can pick these a little bit early. We're going to get some cages on them. Get them up in There's the ground. There's another one there. We got another one. Oh, we got a blossom right there. Now, see, these are another one. The beautiful, beautiful blossoms on these. These nice purple blossoms. That one. Let's see if we can get under there. Let me put this. Oh, this one's pretty too. Let's see if I can get to it. Oh, that's another pretty one. Beautiful. Can't wait to eat these now. Okay, our next one is the, how do you pronounce it? Lostada. Lostada, okay. We got some babies here starting. Now I'm gonna, like I say, get these in some cages before they get too big, because we got a lot of babies starting. Here's some babies starting here. Uh, there's a little one right there starting. But these are on the ground, so I'm gonna pick them so that we don't lose them to the bugs. Because, see, they're still fine, so we're gonna, we'll be okay. A little bit of right there, but I think we'll be able to cut that off and we'll try that. But normally you get them, get about seven inches, is as big as you want to get them. Right there. And we got another one on the ground, but look at all these babies. Oh, here's a beautiful one up here. Look at the colors on that. Isn't that beautiful? Now, once we get a cage, so that'll be up off the ground. So, right now, we're gonna get this one. That one's perfect size right there and no damage. No damage at all. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Well, that's what we'll be having for dinner. All right, let's see. We went over those. Everything is doing really well. Like I said, we've been in 90s, mid 90s the last two weeks and it has just been, everything has slowed down. So it's kind of hard on things. As you can see though, certain Plants do better in the heat. The cow peas, like, they didn't even care. They just went crazy in the heat. So, you know, that's a southern type plant anyway. The okra is not slowing it down. It's doing beautiful. It just needs to get a little more size so it can have more, more product. The peppers, they're healthy. They're just slowed down a little bit. You're not getting a lot of blossoms right now. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of blossoms going on because it's so hot. But you can see that they're healthy it just they're taking care of themselves right now they're protecting it there's no sense in putting out fruit that it thinks not going to survive and plants are very smart mother nature has taken care of them they know when and when not to produce so everything's healthy just waiting for the, the heat to kind of die down a little bit you get a couple days back down in the 80s and you'll have a ton of fruit so we're going to go over to the other part of the garden here and uh, see what's going on over there all right so you can see our taters are ready. We are gonna be harvesting them. They're getting down to where they're either done or really, really close. I know it looks horrible, but this is the ending of the cycle. And that means the taters are ready to be done. Different varieties, different water. This one here, see this one's not even ready yet. We won't touch this one for probably another week. This one, you can see that they're really starting to turn yellow. 
and they'll go from, th from this to this to that real quick in like a week. So just watch them, you'll see them, and then all of a sudden you'll go to the next variety and they're done. These are ready to go. All these are ready to go except, well, we got one that's hanging on here. But we're gonna go ahead and, even though we got one hanging on, look at the rest of them. So we're gonna go ahead and harvest these. Got a couple here. We're gonna let this one go a little bit longer because they're still nice and firm. Ready to pick, ready to pick, or I should say harvest because we're gonna dump them out. Like, yeah, that one has no green in it. Like a little Christmas present, a Christmas present, and we'll see what we open them up and what we have in there. But these over here, same thing. You got some that are still nice and, I mean, green, dark green. So we will leave those alone and see what happens. But these will be our last ones. But give them time. Don't hurry them. Don't hurry them because they'll be here. They don't go nowhere. All right, we're gonna come on around. Now this is what we did with our crookneck squash here. We have our, over on the other ones you've already seen, we're just gonna get over there and harvest them. But these are our second round. So these will be, when those are done over there, these will be starting. So we got these started a couple weeks ago, got them in the ground uh, last weekend, I think it was. So they're ready to go. Ow. Now the gardener needs to get out here and get some plants dug up. Okay. This is exciting. Come around here, over here, you can see them really well. Look at all the flowers that are starting. That is beautiful. That is how they go. So you've seen us plant them. You've seen us do this. Every step. Now we're going to see where they go from here. This so, is our peanuts. Can't wait to see how they do. But they're doing beautiful. Uh, these are a southern crop. So as you can see, the sun is not hurting them. There's plenty of blossoms on them. Just like the okra is going crazy. This is a southern crop, so heat, it loves heat, so it's just doing its thing. Now, on our green beans, like I say, it's been warm, it's been hot, as we've been talking about, so they slowed down, but we're still getting more than we can eat. And you see now that we've had some heavy rain yesterday, and look at all the buds. So, as the day before yesterday, we had all that heavy rain, and then just a lot of buds are starting. But you can see there's a lot of them in here, and there's little babies, they're just a lot it's getting thicker they're beautiful they're getting thicker in here you see all the blossoms in here and you can see the babies in here look at all all this see this one's full just full of babies so give this two days three days is all you need and i'm gonna have so many of them in here these are perfect now see these are getting where i can get a mess of these today i can come out here at any given time see i mean they're just all over now the thing is with green beans is you look at it and they all look the same. It's just like the stalks, the leaves, they all kind of blend. But you kind of set and just kind of move it and look. Take a second and look. And you'll see all these buds and stuff. These will be down in here hid. There's babies right there. Babies in a runner over here. And so you kind of just look at it. You sit there and look at Oh, look. Wow. There's, you know, boom. See, there's two right there. Quick, you know. And then there's another one. Now your eyes are starting to adjust. And now I'm starting to see them. I can just keep going. Just, I mean, they're there. So I can get a pound, two pounds out of here. If I just take a minute and look, because they all start blending together. You get back in here and it's just, see, there's, they're, all, they're all over. So you gotta kind of look at it for a minute and then let your eyes adjust and you will find a ton of them. These will produce like this, um, I don't know, for the next couple months, we're gonna have more green beans than we can eat. We always gather, I don't know, every two to three days. Oh, yeah. Come out here. Yeah. And we get a pound, pound to two, two pounds, two pounds every time. Because I'm looking around now that my eyes are starting to adjust, and I can see a ton of beans. And we have three different kinds in here, but they're all your bush beans. We have the Roma, and then these are just your bush beans here. But your blue, what we got? Blue, uh, Blue Lake, and uh, Controls. But they're pretty much the same bean. They look the same. They pretty much taste the same. It's just a different strain, pretty much on the same bean. But it's just, I'm just loving looking in here. Cause it's just, now that I'm looking, I'm seeing. I love that. You just keep seeing them and then just, they're just, I can eat these, the dog. Dollar Bill, he loves coming out here when I collect these. Okay, so this is our straight neck. This is, again, it's uh, two weeks ago we put it in the ground. Uh, a couple weeks old and then we put it in the ground two weeks ago. So it don't take long once it gets going. And this is your straight neck. We didn't do any straight neck the first round. This time we're doing the crook neck over there and the straight neck here. Taste about the same. Some people just like one over the other because of uh, aesthetics or whatever. But I want to go over here to the tomatoes and look at her kale. Look at the size of the thing. 
All right, so over here. This is where the dogs gonna be man. Dog Bill loves these, but these are our black cherries. Come over here, babe. Look how thick these things are. These are the black cherries, and these are the sweetest. I mean, they're they're so low on acid. The acidity on them is very very low. So those are our favorite, and this is our first three plants here and you can see how this is just loaded with them and they're finally finally starting to change and I just I mean we got so many we already picked a lot but it's beautiful they're getting heavy they're getting thick I need to get back in here and trim some of this up because we're getting so many all right so and then we go over here we're getting some nice nice look at the size of these things they're getting big changing colors some big ones in there everything is getting some color to it finally that one looks like it's almost ready to go there. It's a little small. See, here's where it's supposed to be. These big ones like this. So a lot of our branches here, I'm going to have to worry about getting them pulled up. Because they're getting heavy with fruit. This, oh wow, look at the size. See, see how big they're supposed to be. And then you got some, the little, whoop, that one fell off, so it's ready. Except that there. No. Nice size ones here. Can't wait, can't wait early girls are doing great these are pears they're little yellow pears <laughs> these are them blue creams and these are sweet they're not as sweet as the black cherries but they are for just beautiful on the vine and the, those are beautiful you put them all together in a basket they just they look beautiful on your salad they look beautiful all right let's go to the other side and we'll be back after oh here take a picture here of these there's where they're almost all ripe on that one beautiful all right, so these are the ones that we've got the crook medical over there starting. And as you can see, our plants are doing okay over here. They kind of, they're not runners. It's hard to explain. Let me see if I can find a good clear. clear. They kind of grow and like, it'll start here and you'll get fruit as it goes. And it just kind of, not like a vine, but it just continues. These will fall off. These older leaves will fall off. You'll get fruit off of them. And it just kind of keeps going, not like a really like a vine, but it just keeps moving. Like that one came over and started, and now see, we got fruit over here. Now these are really ready to go. We need to get these picked. I'll pick these here in a minute, but I don't have my clippers with me. Now we got, uh, see, these are our patties. See, there's small ones in here. Everything kind of slowed down for a little while, but everything's starting to pick back up. So we got some small patties in there. The zucchini here, oh, look at the size of this sucker. Wow, okay. <laughs> Now see, it's still soft. Your nail, if your nail will go into it, I'm not pushing hard enough to put it in there, I just make a little dents in it. That means it's still okay. Once that skin gets to where you can't put your nail in it, it's getting tough. That means your seeds are gonna be big, everything's gonna be tough inside. So you wanna get it about that size, no bigger. But I don't have my cutters in here because what happens is, if you don't cut it uh, carefully and you try to just reach in there and twist it off, a lot of times it'll twist off the top of that squash where the stalk meets the squash and it'll rip that. So now your storage, you gotta eat that now because it will not store. Once you break into the actual fruit itself, you can't. So we got a lot of them in here, like this one next to it. You've got babies. This is a good one here you gotta talk about. See how it comes up and just keeps going. You had fruit, we had fruit, we picked, we picked, we picked. Now it'll just keep coming and this will fall out until the weather changes it'll keep going. Now, the bigger it gets, the less it's gonna produce, but it still will continue. It's like, um, not quite like a vine, but it, it will continue to grow. There's another one. You can see how, it's, how it keeps on growing, keeps on growing. And that's a, a yellow zucchini there. Um, now, our spaghetti squash is running down through and taking off, and we got fruit. Now, these, we only planted two of them, and they only get about four to five. Um, let's go to the other side real quick. Be right, follow us over there. Let's go over there. All right, we're back over here. And our zinnias, look at our zinnias are starting. These usually start in August. Really, I mean, they'll just go nuts with the heat of the August. And they're more of a fall flower. But when you plant them in the spring, it just takes a long time. But they'll be so beautiful here shortly. But down under here, under the zinnias, we have a spaghetti squash let me get in there this one is ready so i'm gonna get it here like i said be careful cut it with your clippers oh look at the color on that that's beautiful 
a little mud from last night, the rain, but she is beautiful. Now this is what I was talking about, the spaghetti squash. When you open it up, you cut this in half and you bake it. And when you open it up, it looked like spaghetti noodles inside. It's hard to describe. What I'm gonna do is later on, we're gonna open this up, she's gonna cook it, and we'll show you that. We'll put a little insert into how it looks when you're cooking it. Um, or should we do that on another video, babe? Probably another one. Okay, well another video. Let this one set for a couple days. But these are what you call a winter squash, and these will set in the pantry, in, keep it in a darker area, not a direct sunlight, in a cool temperatures. This will last months, months inside in your pantry. So that's why this is what's called a winter squash, because you, you grow it during the summer, but you eat it in the winter, where your, your bush squash, like your uh, crooknecks and your zucchinis and stuff, that's your summer squash. You've got to eat those now. They only store for a couple weeks, a month at the most. So this is our first winter squash that we've got. Uh, where do you want to go next? We can go over to our beans and stuff like that and show you what's going on with our trellis area over there. This is one of the, we did just two of the pole beans this year. We just wanted enough for seeds this year because we didn't plant a whole lot of them, but they're getting up there. They're starting all the way up to the top and they'll go up into the trees. But we got, we got some beans. They're just not what we wanted this year. We wanted more of the, the bush. So we only planted a few of them this year, um, but they're producing. Now the cucumbers, as you can see, they're doing beautiful. These are, this is ready to pick. There's another beautiful one. That one's ready to pick. But I'm going to wait. I'm not going to pick them now. we got a bunch of them in here ready to go. And these are your slicers. These are the ones you want fresh. They're the ones you put on your salads and stuff like that. Or just a dish on the side like carrots and different stuff. That's that's what they're for. And that's, I mean, this is full of them. I can go down through here. <laughs> it's just full of these things. It's just unbelievable how many we got of these this year. They're just, I mean, one, two, three of them. Babies are all over in here. Just beautiful. These are beans. We're waiting. These are doing. Let's see what we got. They're, they're ready to go. They're doing good. But we're waiting on these. These are what we're going to use for our beans, for our soups and stuff like that. So we don't pick these. Now you can pick these young when they're small, like this here. I mean, the the, the beans inside are yet. To, they're just starting to form. So if you pick this now, you still got a snap bean. But see, they're a little stringier. See, that's why you don't really want these. I mean, you can pull the strings off of these and you can use these as your green beans, your snap beans, but they're not designed for that, but they will eat. I mean, you can eat these. It's just, they're not gonna be as tender. You have the little strings attached to them as your bush beans. So they're for a different purpose, but if this is all the room you have, this is what you can grow. You can come out here and grow all of these on a trellis. So you have your snap beans when they're small, or you can let them, like you say, get mature let these beans get bigger and then you have your soup beans and stuff so if that's a small area you can do either one with the same plant it's just if you got a little room you can have your bush and your pole now this on this side is our pickling and she did how many did you do 15 15 jars of 16 pickles? jars of pickles we did spears and we did the pickles now some of them when you get this size here this is when we need to come out here. They're, when they start turning yellow, they're getting past. This is when they're getting where you'd want to use them more for seed than you would eating. Now, they just, man, I can't believe how fast they're growing on us right now. But this size here, this is where you want your three to five inches is what you want to pick them. We came out here three days ago, four days ago, and picked a ton of them. And now it's already full. <laughs> There's one right above your head. <laughs> yeah, here we go. But see, these are great. When they get this size, about here, right here, where they still got the green and they're not getting a whole lot of yellow on This is the best size right here. dark green. This is the best size, right? Yellow. But if you're just wanting a pickle, not a pickle, I should say, a cucumber just to eat fresh, this is the size. Because it is meaty, it is a lot, I mean, there's a lot of meat inside of that. So if you're just like, a, we sell these by the bag at work and the guys love them and they'll buy them by the bag, just eat. I mean, you just you eat it straight. You're not pickling on them, but they get huge. Oh my goodness! There's one on the other side. I can't. It's like a small watermelon. Uh, we're so behind. <laughs> but they are so prolific. I mean, it's just unbelievable how many how many go. And the more you pick them, the more you're going to get. And so 
you really got to keep up with them. We've got another month or two. I mean, they're still going. As you can see, they're still going. And they'll keep going for the next couple months. This side here is the same thing. No, they're over here. Now here in this section here is our melons. Can we go to the other side? I'm gonna show you a melon on the other side. Okay. There's that one. That's the biggest one right now. But see, these will turn orange, orange and green. Right now they're just that dark green. And we've got a couple big ones in here. They're hiding on us. But if you see all these babies here, here's a good size one right here. I mean, they're in there. There's another one right there. These, these are more of a early ones. As they get up on top here, they will just go nuts. This is the early stages. This is more of your July, August, September, and they are gonna go nuts in the next month. So as you can see on this side while we're here real quick, our dinosaur kale is just doing beautiful. And you can see kind of how they get the bumpy, they look like the dinosaurs in the old movies and stuff. It looks just like dino kale. So that's why everybody calls that. It's kind of a nickname, not actually what it is, but just because of what it looks like. And then you have your blue curls and stuff, and they're just, they're just beautiful. But let's go back inside and show you what's going on in there still. Okay, so like I was saying, we got to keep training these to go up because they want to sprawl. And if you have room, you can let them sprawl on the ground. But when you have them up off the ground like this, you don't have the insect, you don't have mold, you don't have the dirt and stuff and slugs on them as much. But when they come up, I got little hammocks we make for them out of netting. It's basically what that is, just part of a pantyhose. And we'll just make little uh, hammocks for them as they get up tall. Now that one there, that big one there, I need to get one uh, put on it. But while we're here, I wanna do our noodle beans. These are our Chinese. These things are just beautiful. And we let them just kind of grow. See these, they got little pockets. I mean, I don't know if you can really see that. It's just really, really thin. You got air pockets in there. That means each individual bean in there is ready to be harvested for the next year. Or year, about here is where you want them where they're nice and firm. They're just like a green bean. You eat these just like a green bean. They're just beautiful instead of just green. But when they get bigger, they're just prettier. So we just kind of leave them hanging because it just makes it look pretty. So last year, we had them coming up both sides and they're just a little bit slower this year. We got some starting over here. Here's some right here. But this one is up to here and this one's only up to here. So this one will catch up. Um, grapes, we thought we'd lost all of our grapes. I just want to show you real quick. We're letting them go up into the thing, but we did get some. There's one there. We got a small cluster there. And we got like two more clusters inside there. We thought we'd lost all of our grapes because of that late frost, but we're actually going to get our first grapes that we can actually eat this year. That's exciting. So let's come in here now. We have our cucumbers. Now here's our melons, and we've got a doozy someplace here. Right here. Ah, there. That one. I think it's ready to pick. I can't see it. I think that, see, look at the size of, we got a melon next to it. Is that a cucumber or a melon? Jeez. Look at the size <laughs> of that thing. It's a cucumber. They go longer. Those are, that's, that's for seeds. That's whenever it's that's when too ripe, seeds. when it's yellow. <laughs> but this one here, I'm going to pick this. It's it. ready. It is not a cantaloupe. It is actually a sweet melon. Honey melon. Passion melon is yes. what its name is. And they say if you eat it in the garden, in the moonlight. In the night of the moon, it brings passion to your household. That's what they say. So this thing is just. That's beautiful. Mm, smells good too. So this is our first melon off this. And it is just, it'll be, we can eat this tonight or tomorrow? Probably tomorrow. Tomorrow? Let it set for a day? Yep. But we got, let's see, oh, one last, one last one. These are our last of our pickling over here. Now these are them thin ones. And we'll let you know how they do. We've never done them before. They're a smooth skin pickling, but they're doing good. They're not doing as well as our Chicago, but they're doing really well. So I don't know if we'll do them next year, but we did a batch of them this year. Just always try something new. Um, this is our first year with these. We know we love these. We know these make great pickles. So we're trying something new this year. So every year you got room, try something new like these. This is our first year for these. We did uh, honey melons last year. They were good, but they weren't as good as the Kajari. So we didn't plant them this year. So she tried these. So switch it up, try it. If you don't absolutely just love it, 
try something new. If you got room, try both, but we only have room for a couple at a time. So this is our first year with this, and we'll let you know if it's going to be a continuing our garden or just a one-year thing. Um, what else we got here, babe? All right, thanks. I think we've got it all covered. So we're going to do our potatoes later, so look forward to that. And we're going to be doing our uh, potato harvest later this afternoon. So you might want to come back and check on that when we get that one posted and see how our potatoes did this year. Um, other than that, we'll see you in a couple weeks on our next uh, tour. See how things are after hopefully this heat subsides a little bit and things get big going again. So. Okay, y'all. Y'all have an awesome day. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. When you subscribe, you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. You guys have a great day. Smile for us. Bye.